Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA, Elite Total Body Care, private label hair care company. So I have to work at the salon today. Um, it's Thursday, as normal. But I am going to drop some coats off at a dry cleaner. And I don't really go to the dry cleaners. Like, Turn right onto oh, no. State Road 436 I to, I actually East. actually had to Google a dry cleaner to bring my items to because I don't ever go. Like, this is legitimately my second time going to a dry cleaner in over five years. And I know that's like, is that pitiful? Is that is that really, is that pitiful, you guys? Because, I don't know. I feel like, do am I the only one that feels like dry cleaners have kind of become almost obsolete? in the world today like it's it's like there's things that we would have done all the time thank you there's things that we would have done all the time that's like going to blockbuster to go rent movies going to redbox to get movies going Stay to the, the dry cleaners from right. girl i know where i'm going no i don't i'm lying going to the dry cleaners um like everything has become in so... 1.3 miles turn right onto maitland avenue watch this now Everything has gotten so do it yourself ish. Like, do it yourself ish. Let me say that the right way. And it's like with the dry cleaners, I guess maybe because I don't really buy extra high end items anymore. Like, I'll buy some, I'll buy a bag, I'll buy some shoes. But like, buying outfits that require me to dry clean them, I don't really buy that. Because it's like, you start learning the value of things. And I'm not saying that I would never buy like high-end pieces and stuff like that. Like I, I buy some. But it's not really a requirement because now clothes are so cheaply made. Things are not like they used to be where, you know, you, you're getting high quality items. Because at this point, if you're getting a high quality item, it's overpriced. That's number one. It's overpriced severely. It's it's also like they're trying to find like alternative materials to real things like silk you know and stuff like that so then you're paying out your butt for a cheap cheap fabric that they're putting a, a amazing name on so i'll give you guys an example a couple years ago um i bought a pair of louis sneakers when I say Louis sneakers, Louis Vuitton, okay? I bought a pair of sneakers, and when I bought the sneakers, at that time, I said, you know what? I want to buy the shirt to go with it. So I buy a Louis Vuitton white t-shirt because I needed a white t-shirt to wear with the outfit that I, I wore all white, but it was not, it was not casual. It was, a, you know, a dress down kind of thing. So I bought a white Louis Vuitton t-shirt for 500 and something dollars now at that time it was like oh i, I wanted the t-shirt so i bought it that's why I'm, I'm like okay if it's something you want buy what you want i'm not knocking anybody for buying what they want but when i bought the t-shirt all it had was a little lv right here in white it's not like you even knew that this t-shirt was lv but just know that crystal had on after taxes a 600 dollar t-shirt that was made from the same cotton that a Hanes t-shirt was made from it might have had a little blend in the mix don't know didn't check but it was just a t-shirt and do you know the same night that i wore said t-shirt for six hundred dollars after tax i go to the event and by the time i get home i have four stains of hennessy on the front of my six hundred dollar white t-shirt so that t-shirt, I immediately threw it in the washer with a little bit of Dawn dish detergent on the four little stains. Took it out of the washer and those four little stains, because they are brown molasses liquor, was still there. So now that $600 white t-shirt has no meaning. And I spent $600 on it. So that was a lesson for me because when I thought about it, 
when I got the stains on it, I said, well, dang, well, hold on. I went and spent $600 on a t-shirt that I could have literally bought a pack of Hanes t-shirts at Walmart and spent even $15. Let's just give it a, give it a plus. $15. And I would have still had $580 in my pocket before tax. Or after tax. I would have still had $580 in my pocket that I could use to build my business, to get some new labels, get some products, get some things that are going to make me money. And you see from that day, I said, I will not be buying any additional high-end clothing that does not meet a certain criteria. Like it needs to be, it needs to be that extravagant. It needs to be that fabulous. Even these designers that people are rushing and they're buying their stuff with the name on it. It is made from the same cotton as the shirt in Target. Like I had to really just recollect and just say, wait a second, you really did that. Like why? Two years, three years later, I'm like, that $580 could have been flipped 10 times by now, and that could have been 50 grand from $580 that I wasted on a t-shirt. Legitimately on a t-shirt. Just because I wanted to have a Louis Vuitton t-shirt. So it's like, you know, the, the lesson here is we get quickly fooled we get fooled by a lot of things specifically clothing shoes bags because when you go and buy these luxury items be quite honest if you buy a luxury versace shirt let's say you buy the the original versace shirt the silk shirt the one with all the prints on it and you wear that shirt to an event be quite honest are you going to wear that shirt 10 more times or is it such a specialty item that you bought it for a specific event? You took a picture in it because, you know, now it's not like the like times before where you had a cell phone. You didn't really have a cell phone and you could buy items and wear that piece 10 times because there's no record of you wearing that piece 10 times. Right. There's no actual record of you wearing that piece 10 times. Now we have the power of take my picture. We have the power of the cell phone. We have the power of other people's cell phone. We're not even talking about disposable cameras where you know you have to go and develop said pictures. Okay, we're not even talking about those where those pictures can go nowhere other than the fact that they're on a piece of paper. Eventually, photo studios will become obsolete just the same. But now we're in a time where there's a picture of everything you do. There's a video somewhere. There's a picture somewhere. It don't even necessarily have to be your phone. Oh, excuse me. It doesn't even have to be your phone. It can be someone at the party that was taking a picture with someone else and you just so happen to be in the background. And now there's a record of this Versace shirt that you spent $2,200 on. Uh, after that $2,200, are you going to be able to wear that shirt again? It's so specialty. It's so seen. It's so noticeable. Are you legitimately going to wear that shirt again to another fabulous event that you just spent $2,200 on to go and look nice and feel nice and sport the fact that you could afford this Versace shirt? But the shirt is so noticeable. The shirt is so, I can see you. Are you going to wear it again? So this is the reason why I haven't had to go to the cleaners like that like I'm the type to go and buy a pair of shoes I'll buy luxury shoes even though they hurt really bad I will buy luxury shoes you know why because I can wear those shoes for years to come like I, I can wear those shoes and I can wear those shoes and I can wear those shoes you know why because the shoes really is not what people care so much about they do but they don't they're not gonna really care that much because it's shoes they're made to be worn multiple times but we're so materialistic now when it comes to like clothing. I don't foresee myself spending tons of money on clothes anymore. 
Like I buy, like what I'm taking to the dry cleaners today is my coats. I'm taking coats to the dry cleaners today. I am not taking anything other than jackets that I know or coats that I know I will wear for years to come. Mm-hmm. I will wear this coat for years to come. So it's like, I just be like looking at things in a way. It's just like when you really kind of like break it down and think about it and you say to yourself like, well, why do I even do this? Like, why do I spend this kind of money on pieces of um, clothing that I know for the amount of money that I spent on it, it's a specialty item. So I can't even wear it a ton of times like that. And that specialty item requires me to go pay someone extracurricular money to wash it. And they're barely washing it. Barely. Dry cleaners now are not even like dry cleaners. So I'm going to be quite honest, you guys. Like, I searched for either the, well, they used to be called $1.50 dry cleaners. But they don't have those anymore. They've gone up. So I just found the two seventy nine dollars dry cleaners that I'm about to pull up on. And I, I don't foresee myself spending tons of money even to clean jackets. So I drove 15 minutes to find this this cleaner, this lady. You see my car coming and you still, I don't know, people just be doing real stupid stuff. People like, come on. So I'm literally pulling into this, is, what is it? Two, well, they have the and up sign. So you already know that the coats are not going to be 279, but we, we're going to try. Now that I'm retired, I'm giving away my expensive suits and handbags. My shoes are dry rotting. What a waste. And that's the facts. That's the facts. Like, I have so much. I have a ton of Burberry pieces in the closet. I actually do wear those more than once, though, because that's, that, is, that is a regular brand in my eyes. I'm sorry to say it that way, but it really is. It's day brand, but it's not so over the top. But I see people literally wait for New York Fashion Week to go by. And they see a celebrity in a dress. They don't think to themselves that these celebrities get these pieces for free. Because they know that people like you are going to come and spend $3,000 on that jacket that you saw Khloe Kardashian wearing. Just because you wanted to say you got the same jacket that Khloe Kardashian was wearing for free. And she's a celebrity. And she didn't even pay three thousand dollars. She paid zero ninety nine. So who are they fooling? Us. These celebrities don't really pay for anything. Most times, these celebrities are renting their clothes. They rent and return clothes. Some of these celebrities have shoppers that go into these stores like Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, all these stores, and they buy these pieces. They wear them once. They don't remove the tag and then they return them. It's called professional returners. And these stores have policies that will say they have to return it. So these celebrities will return it. Now, God forbid they mess up a piece or two. Yeah, they're going to pay for it. But think about it. If they have on $20,000 worth of clothes for the month, out of that $20,000 worth of clothes, they've probably spent no more than two renting them or returning them buying and returning them and getting their money back and they're not going in the store and doing it themselves they're sending one of the little gophers that's around them doing it mm -hmm. so let's go into this oh, excuse me let's go into this 279 cleaners And let's see what the price for me to get these jackets clean. It's not like I really have a choice. Oh, Lord.
let's see what it costs. I forgot to take the hangers off. Let me do that. So I am going to dry clean. Four coats. Only four. One of which is my Harry Potter cloak, but don't laugh. Okay, I'm a Harry Potter fan. If I can dry clean my coats, I can dry clean my Harry Potter, my Harry Potter cloak. So don't don't judge me. It's one of my favorite items. So let's go inside. Hey, good morning. Good. 407 242 7438. Yeah. Crystal. C. T A L. Williams. Do they do garment repair here too? Yeah. Uh, thank you. How many did I bring? So it's four total, right? Or three? Oh, okay. So I'm like, wait, I had another jacket. Do you have Apple Pay? No, let me go. So it came to $25. Let me go get my, oh, I thought she took Apple Pay, but they do not. Grasshopper, that's nice of you to give away to people who are um, starting new jobs. That's nice. Sorry about that. It's okay. Did you see a, a black raincoat looking material yeah. coat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, wait a second. I was trying to count them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow? Okay. Do I get a re oh, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't horrible, you guys. It was it was not so bad. I got one jacket, two coats, and she called my Harry Potter robe a choir robe. <laughs> That's just the disrespect. It's the disrespect. <laughs> she called my robe a hair. She called it a choir robe. How dare you? That's not a choir robe. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, she called my thing a choir robe. <laughs> Said tomorrow by three, so after work tomorrow, I'm just gonna come pick them up and we're done. That's it. Anyway, you guys, I am gonna head to work. I will come on live today during my client um 
and we'll do some chatting and some how to's and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to head back to work now, probably stop and get me a little Dunkin' Donuts to put something on my stomach, which they have one right up the street. I think I'm going to go to that one. And then I will see everybody later on today.